Tell me when you watch a cricket match, do you complain that the run rate or the scores, the target score was reached in the last over? There is a full time frame available for this government to work. Whatever we've promised, tell me, is it incumbent that it should be done in the first year itself? There are various things to be done and therefore of all the work that the government has done, there are phases of working. Before we even change the name of Sports Authority and remove the authority to Sport India, there are many more things that we've done. We've taken the sport to grassroots level with Kelo India. Thousand athletes being selected for scholarship, five lakh rupees every year for eight years in a row. Never before has this happened. All the National Academy, the children, their food will be not 200 rupees, it'll be 450 rupees. Why should the Indian coaches, Indian masseurs, Indian physiotherapists have a much lower salary? Whereas when a foreign coach comes, he gets exactly what he wants. We've raised their salaries to 100%. We'll attract better masseurs, better physios, better uh, sports science specialists, better coaches. From day one of my joining in, we've been going around to various academies. And I, as an athlete, have gone to various academies and have, have, have been part of the process of growing up in Sports Authority of India and what happens there and therefore I am aware as to what food qualities we get. I don't have to wait for a newspaper report to come. We, we do get ideas by the Prime Minister and of course since he's the Minister for all the ministries so we will talk to him uh, but however we are absolutely independent to work. For the first time we have a Prime Minister that is undoubtedly working harder than anyone else. So there is a report card that's prepared. How much progress have you made in these many months, in these many days? It's very clearly articulated so no one can, you know, wishy-washy the responsibility. And this decentralization is also visible in how Prime Minister has created his main team of chief ministers. So when he says about Team India, he talks about all the chief ministers coming together. And unless uh, in this federal structure, if all the chief ministers do not contribute equally to a, uh, together as a nation, the nation will not move ahead. And similarly, the Prime Minister has been talking about uh, the fundamental duties that all of us have when he speaks about Swachhta, for example. That's a fallacy. It's a campaign being done by the opposition. So when we talk about uh, employment, typically everybody talks about government employment. Today's times are when people are becoming entrepreneurs, they're doing their own work or they are in the service sector. Employment and creating uh, jobs for our young people will always be a challenge, especially so for a country which has the largest number of youth in the whole world. But is it not incumbent on the government and is the government not creating an environment in the entire world that if you need to give jobs, Indian uh, uh, boys and girls are the best ones to get a job. I'll give you an example. Today, in, I'm from Jaipur Rural. Jaipur Rural has mandis, they do fantastic examples. Today when the farmer brings his yield to the mandi, he doesn't have to sell to the people who, you know, there's a collective lot of people who come, in, come to purchase and they, they decide beforehand that we will not bid beyond this. As the farmer used to have no other option but to sell his produce to them, not now. Now they remain loaded in the trucks. If they do not get the right price, the trucks start moving towards Delhi. Today's India, and this is the technology, this is the, all the mandis and all the prices being provided on the mobile application to the farmers. This is what we have done. So in every sector we've gone ahead and worked. Uh, it's so easy to, uh, to not read beyond the headlines and uh, just uh, fall for a certain campaign. If physically anyone wants to come in, we have our armed forces stopping them. What if somebody is not coming in physically, but the thoughts are coming in, disruptive thoughts are coming in direct to your home? 
how do you defend that there was an act of so, uh, of social media in which a lot of people were imprisoned by the because of their facebook posts uh, that was done by upa a, we brought that act down because we feel social media and internet is made to be totally free and uh, the regulation which is there for the media which is self regulation also needs to be there in social media the people of different ideologies are now coming together what such such a high sense of unity was never seen in india even when india was attacked by external forces such sense of unity was never there so why is this unity there this unity is there because they are hungry for power if these five years they realize in these five years that if they do not come back again these these sort of political forces are finished forever Rajasthan, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh have always been states that have been supportive of Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, when we have 20 states that are supporting the BJP and the Prime Minister Modi, obviously they are supporting because they are seeing a certain work ethos. They are certain, certain they are seeing certain transparency. They are seeing certain delivery and commitment on part of the people who are in the government. My sense is that Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, all three, having been huge supporters of BJP and especially Prime Minister Modi, will support us entirely.